man, my Tesla really stinks. It's like the air conditioning smells like it's being pumped in from a locker room. Literally, it's like dirty socks. And I've only had the car for 18 months. Ugh. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> your virtual dad in the cloud and today I'm gonna tell you how I'm getting rid of the stench in my Tesla Model Y. This is not a unique situation to Tesla. It happens in a lot of different cars. The process is the same although obviously Tesla is a little bit more complicated. These are the air filters that I'm gonna be putting in my Model Y. The uh, Model Y and Model 3 both take the same air filters and it requires two of them. And I buy these from Tesmanian. I prefer to get my accessories from Tesmanian because I know they will fit. I don't buy generic things off of Amazon in situations like this. Um, I also have a coupon code for Tesmanian that I'll put down in the description and you can get 10% off your accessories. These cost about $50, um, but then I got the, the coupon. It comes with directions for the Model 3 but they are applicable as well to the Model Y. And it even comes with a couple of tools here. One to remove the remaining, the retaining clips, and the other is a screwdriver and Torx wrench. The other thing that I'm gonna be using is this Klima Cleaner Pro. This is a spray foam that goes in and cleans the, um, the air conditioning coil in there. And uh, this is highly recommended. I got it on a lot of different Reddit uh, pages. They talk about this cleaner. I bought this on Amazon. I will put a link to it down in the video description as well. Now the air filters are actually inconveniently located behind this panel. And to get this panel out, you have to take this panel off. And to do that, I'm going to use this little um, tool here to get these retaining clips out. a little piece of it off. The next step is to get this panel off of here and that's where this tool comes in handy because you can get behind it without actually scratching. My god they're not easy to get out that's for sure. I'm struggling here guys. I gotta tell you. Oh man, what the hell, Tesla? Hey man. Well, there goes everything. The good news is I didn't break any clips. But man, that was tough getting off. Actually, I did break a clip here. And that's the one that was giving me all the trouble. <laughs> Okay, the air filter is right behind this panel right here. They look like two different panels, but this one is removable. This is part of the, the molded piece. So that's the nut that we have to take off. And that is a six millimeter socket. If you don't have a six millimeter, quarter inch will work as well. That exposes the filter. You can see the filter in there. There are two of them. Take the top one first. And the second one, this tab, pulls it up. And you can get that one out too. All right, these are the original filters that came with the car. The inside is the yellow part the outside is the white. So this is where you can see the actual, you know, dirt from being sucked in from underneath the hood. And so it's definitely dirty. And I've had the car 11,000 miles and uh, about 18 months now. So they're definitely due for a change. Now, coincidentally, I don't smell anything bad on my filters that make it smell in the car. So that's why I want to clean the coil too, because I think that's where the smell is. Okay, I'm gonna use my little endoscope here to try and give you a, a little bit of a view of what it looks like inside there and see what the coils look like. 
All right, so that's the heating and air conditioning coil. And um, I think this side is called the evaporator coil. And judging from this, I, I mean, I can't tell that it's actually that bad. I don't see like dust on it. That's pointing down. And that's pointing kind of up. It's not like they're clogged. But there's definitely something that is causing that smell. And it's got to be on the coil because, I don't know, it's not on the, the air filter itself. In any case, that's how the endoscope works. Okay, this stuff says to shake well. And it came with this hose. It has a... A funky sprayer tip on it that kind of spreads the uh, the foam throughout so I'm taking this off and I'm gonna put the other one on without spraying it on myself if I can avoid that Ooh, I heard it <laughs> then it says to stick it in as far as you can into the evaporator coil and empty the contents of the can Okay, well, it's coming out, so I don't really want it to come out if I can avoid it. So I think that's enough. And once again, let's take a look without getting it all over my phone. Let me get some paper towel to get that up. And now it says to wait for 20 minutes, so I will be back. All right, this is the original filter. This is the outside facing side. This is the new one, and that's the outside facing side. And then this is inside on the old filter. But the new one, as you can see, has these, uh, definite little pellets of charcoal in there. And those are odor absorbing charcoal. So I wonder if this is an improvement by third parties to actually uh, hope, hopefully extend the life of these filters and uh, prevent that smell. So these are both in the same orientation. And one of the little idiosyncrasies that I just figured out, especially for the bottom filter, this is gonna be an issue. For the filter that goes down inside, you need this tab to be able to pull it up and get it out. And you can see they're both, the airflow is both going in the same direction, but this one has the tab down the bottom. So I don't know if this is from the Model 3 that it was like this, and they use the same ones for the Model Y, but I'm gonna put a piece of duct tape here just to make sure that I can get that out of the bottom when I go to change it in another 18 months or so. All right, there's my homemade little tab. <laughs> so it's in the same position as the other one. Now it's telling me after 20 minutes just to put the air on as high as it'll go. And so I'm going to do that. It's definitely a bit of a chemical smell. It's good that I have the doors open and uh, just let it air out for a little while. That's what the can says. All right, it is completely aired out now, and I'm going to put these in. And I'm putting in first this one with the little tab, my little uh, homemade tab. I'm going to try and get this in here with the... Uh-huh. It's a little tight. That's what she said. Do I have to take that thing out? All right, so <laughs> this one is easy to get out of the light. The speaker is a b so I just kind of held it out like this and put the filter behind it. But in any case, the filter is getting in now. I just gotta hold the, my little tab. 
so that it goes in straight. <laughs> there we go. All right, there's my little tab. See that? <laughs> hey, don't laugh, it works. Lift that out of the way, and then I can get this in. In! Amen. A little panel goes right back on. Just stay there for a minute, will ya? Oh, man. Tesla, you don't make anything easy, do you? Ah, okay. It wasn't in at the top, that's why. Sure, when you get it in the right spot, it goes in fine. Okay, mission accomplished. I wanna get rid of this broken connector here because it might rattle. God, that was tight, holy cow. There we go, okay, there's a pin that aligns everything. And once I get that in, it should just be a matter of putting them all in. And then these little things just pop right back in. Come on, make me a liar. <laughs> this is why I don't do very many car videos. All right. Here we go on high. Back to auto. And of course it goes down. Much better. Now I have nice cool air coming out of here. And it doesn't stink. Alright, that wasn't so hard. I, really, it took about a half an hour maybe tops. And uh, basic tools. And uh, I don't know, it costs probably... I don't know, maybe about $60 total. I read on Facebook that you can have Tesla come and do this. I think they'll come in the, the mobile service. They'll come and do it for you, and it'll cost about $150. So what do you think? $60, do it yourself, or $150? Which one is more effective for you? Which would you do? So I'll tell you what. Leave a thumbs up if you would do this yourself. Do a thumbs down if you think it's better to just pay Tesla and you don't want to be bothered. Let me know. Thanks for watching. If you are a DIY video creator struggling to find an audience, join Handy Dad TV and get instant access to an established audience that will provide more views and income than you're getting on your own. Just go to handydad.tv join for more information.